Hello everyone, this is Dale Peckle again. In this video, I want to take you through the differences between the two types of escape system anchor hooks that are offered by CMC Rope Rescue. On the left, we have the Flash 2, and on the right, we have the Flash G, which stands for gated technology. On the Flash 2, I have 7.5 millimeter Kevlar escape rope tied on with a poacher's knot, and on the Flash G, we have CMC's proprietary escape webbing, which is stitched on. Both of these anchor hooks can be purchased individually directly through CMC or one of their authorized distributors, or you can purchase them within one of CMC's systems, either the Escape Artist or the Standard Lever System or their flagship system, the Lever BT. Now the BT stands for Burn Technique. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, that's uh, where you use the hook as a descender to rescue a victim. I'll include a couple links to some videos that demonstrate that procedure, that technique, so you have a better understanding of it as we go along. It's, it does have some relevance when we talk about the differences of these hooks and how they're applied. The Flash G and the Flash 2, either one can be purchased with the standard lever, but if you purchase the lever BT system, the Flash G is going to come with it exclusively, along with this deployment tether, which I'll talk about momentarily. If you purchase the hooks individually, the Flash 2 has a suggested retail of $127. Uh, the suggested retail on, uh, on the Flash G is $142. So let's take a look at the differences. And beyond the obvious of the rope and the webbing uh, and the hitching slot, if you look at these hooks, if I place the, the Flash 2 on top of the Flash G, you're going to see that that arc is symmetrical it's identical okay the distance from the the spine to the point is exactly the same the length of these hooks is the same the width of the hooks is the same and the weight is very similar as well the the flash 2 comes in at 7.8 ounces and the flash g comes in at 7.9 ounces so there's only a tenth of an ounce difference both of these hooks are super lightweight and that's because they're manufactured out of uh, aircraft aluminum they're milled out of a solid piece they both meet the current NFPA 1983 standards for personal escape. Uh, they are rated at 13.5 kilonewton, kilonewtons, which equates to 3,030 pounds, and that's uh, along their, their weakest axis or loading point. Okay, So exceptionally strong anchors. Uh, where you're going to start to see the differences, you guys, is when, is when we look at the hitching slots. Okay, Again, the, the Flash 2 has that solid hitching slot, while the Flash G has that gate. And because of that, you'll notice the spine on the inside of the spine, also near the base of the captive eye and, and the top of the hitching slot, it's a little thicker and beefier than the, uh, the Flash 2. And presumably, that's because of that, that gated technology. In order for CMC to compensate for that uh, and still meet uh, or maintain the strength requirements for the standard, they probably just beefed up this section. And that's why the hook is just slightly heavier at at a uh, tenth of an ounce. And the other thing that you're gonna you're gonna see different on the Flash G is this this little milled out section. Again, that's for the deployment tether. Uh, if you purchase the Flash G with the BT system, it will come with this deployment tether girth hitched on in that slot. Uh, you have the ability to remove it if you want. If you purchase the Flash G separately, it's it's not going to come with the deployment tether, but you could purchase the tether uh, individually and attach it. Uh, this one has a retail of of nineteen dollars. So it's it's really personal preference. Uh, the the question you might have is is what advantage does deployment tether provide? And that simply comes down to uh, how you store your system. Some firefighters believe that having this tether on just makes locating the hook in their pocket or in their bag and deploying it a little bit easier, a little bit more efficiently. Uh, personal preference. I I don't like the hook with anything on it. I like clean hooks, so I, I took the tether off and I use it in a different location. But again, if if you don't want it on the BT system, you can take it off. If you purchase the hook individually and you want, you can buy it. It's, it really is, is your choice. Okay. Now uh, that covers the the similarities and the differences uh, of the hook. The next question that you guys are probably going to have is is what advantages are there to the solid hitching slot? or to the to the gate okay spring loaded gate on the flash g and instead of making this video too long i thought i would discuss and demonstrate that in a separate video so uh, in video two following this one uh, i'll demonstrate how the solid hitching slot of the flash 2 can be used 
uh, as well as the flash G for attaching to a substantial object, as well as how these, these hooks, the differences, um, are when we're using them as a descent control device for the burn technique. So again, uh, so you have an understanding in that video, I'll, I'll include a link uh, to a couple of demos uh, and other videos in the description of this one. But uh, hopefully you found this, this one useful, uh, and we'll see you on video two uh, as a follow-up. Thanks for watching.